Hello dear friends, welcome back to Travel Lesson for you dear friends. Let us discuss about some functions of the cell membrane, right? So in the previous lectures I have already discussed about the structure of the cell membrane, the lipids which are present in the cell membrane, the proteins which are found there, the carbohydrates and the functions of those carbohydrates we have discussed and the functions of those proteins we have discussed. Now let us see the functions of the cell membrane that what does this cell membrane, this barrier is doing there and what is its function, right? So first of all let me erase this little part from here and see, look. Friends, we know that here we have a tissue right this is a tissue and in this tissue we have for example we have a cell here right and external to the cell we have the extracellular fluids right and inside the cell we have the intracellular fluids this is the cytoplasm and the cell membrane is a barrier between the extracellular fluid and intracellular fluid. So the first function, the first and the most important function that the cell membrane plays, let me write here functions of cell membrane. Right. The first and the most important function that the cell membrane is playing, right? It is acting as a barrier. Look, nothing without permission can go inside the cell and nothing without permission can get out, outside of the cell. So whenever anything is going in and out of the cell, they must take the permission of the cell membrane and then they will be allowed to move in or out, right? So we say that cell membrane is a barrier, it is acting as a barrier between extracellular fluids and intracellular fluids and which is very important, right? So the first function, it is acting as a barrier between what? Between extracellular fluid and intracellular fluid. Next, the next important function of the cell membrane is that it is a selective permeable membrane. It is a selective permeable membrane. So what is meant by selective permeable membrane, right? Okay, let's see here. Here we have, uh, for example, let us know it here. Okay, we have here the lipids present, right? The phospholipids, which molecules can move in and out easily, right? Only nonpolar, nonpolar and small size. Small size. Look again. Here we have our phospholipid bilayer. What are those molecules which can easily move in and out of the cell? Those molecules which can swim through these lipids. Those molecules which can swim through these lipids and get out. Which know how to swim, how to swim in the lipids and go out or come in. It means that those molecules which are lipid soluble. Which are lipid soluble so they will easily move in and out of the cell and those which have small size which have small size and by this lipid soluble we also mean that the nonpolar substances right so the cell membrane will easily allow the nonpolar substances the lipid soluble substances and the small cell substances to move in and out but the polar substances, right, but the non-lipid soluble substances, but the large molecular weight substances, how will they enter and how will they leave the cell? They will use certain special channels, right, 
If I talk about myself, we have windows in our room. Through these windows, air can move in and out. But I cannot move in and out of the room through these small windows. What will I do? I will use the door. I will open the door and get out or come in. Right? So this is called the selective permeability. The window, the small window is not allowing me to get out through that. Like this, right? But the door can allow me. So the cell membrane is a very selective membrane. It does not let everything to come in or go out. Right? So this is the most important function of the cell membrane that it plays. That is the selective permeability. The next important function of the cell membrane is the protection. Protection. Friends, cell membrane, cell membrane contain special type of pumps. And these pumps are very responsible to pump out sodium and, and pump in potassium. Right? The sodium is very dangerous metal, right? Dangerous iron. So that there should be no harm to the cell. Sodium is pushed out by this pump which is called sodium potassium at depends and this pump is present in the cell membrane if the sodium comes in it will harm the cell but if we want to keep the cell alive we should pump out the cell the sodium out from the cell right so so in order to do that in order to keep the cell alive in order to keep the cell well functioning we have to put out out the sodium out right so this is called the protection other thing other than that nothing uh, not everything can move inside the cell and not everything can come outside of the cell why because this cell membrane is acting as a barrier it is protecting the inside of the cell from the outer environment right so this is the third function of the cell which is the, the cell membrane which is it playing the th the fourth function is the absorption absorptive function what does it mean by this absorptive function look here this is a cell let me make another thing this is our some part of our small intestine right and in the inner lining of the small intestine we have certain cells epithelial cells and when food substances come and these cells take up these food substances so this process is called absorption so the cell membrane of these cells are used in order to absorb all these food substances. Right. We give the patient certain drugs. Those drugs are absorbed through these cells, cell membranes. Right. So the cell membrane plays another rule that is called the absorptive function. Absorption of different substances. The next function of cell membrane is the excretion. Excretion. Friends, cell membrane is also used to excrete certain substances out of the cell. For example, that is called the exocytosis, right? For example, if here is a very dangerous thing and it must be expelled out of the cell, first of all, it is bonded in a vesicle and then vesicle comes and binds with this membrane, right? When this vesicle binds with this membrane, the cell membrane allows the the vesicle to let out that dangerous thing out of the cell right so this is called the excretion excretory function of the cell membrane so cell membrane is also playing its very important role in excretion of different substances like that then the next function of the cell membrane is the exchange function 
cell membrane is very important is playing its very important role in exchange of different substances for example look carefully if this is a cell right and here is your blood right here is your blood okay this tissue this cell has made lots of carbon dioxide so cell membrane will allow that carbon dioxide to go to the blood right and will allow the oxygen to come in right so look oxygen came in to the cell through this cell membrane carbon dioxide has gone from the cell towards the blood through this cell membrane so cell membrane is playing its very important role in exchange of different substances right like gases the next function is that it helps to maintain the integrity of the cell maintain integrity by integrity we means the size and shape of the cell by integrity we mean shape and size of the cell cell membrane does not allow the cell to expand too much right so cell membrane help to maintain the size and shape of the cell that is the maintenance of integrity of the cell cell membrane helps in adhesion right cell membrane helps in adhesion of one cell to the other cell for example we know that if here are two cells right so the cell membrane has certain proteins which keeps the cell adhesive to each other and keeps the cell adhesive to the tissue right so cell membrane plays its role in adhesion next cell membrane has certain receptors right cell membrane has certain receptors so it has different types of receptor for certain hormones and enzymes and other things cell membrane has receptors then we say that friends cell membrane has junctions cell membrane has junctions and uh, through which the cells the two cells can talk to each other look like this here are certain gap junctions in between these two cells so these cell membranes are allowing these cells to exchange different substances with each other so this is the next function of the cell membrane which it acts as a junction in between the two cells right so friends these were some functions of the cell membrane and with this we are finished with the structure and functions of the cell membrane in the next lectures we will discuss about the cytoplasm and other structures of the cell so see you friends in the next lectures till then allah hafiz